Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here. Recently I've been working on a mega microwave, but I've had some problems with it leaking stray microwave radiation. Are you recording? Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe we need to do some more tests. Yeah, kind of a problem, just a little bit. So I went online to try to figure out how I could fix the problem, and I ended up buying about four gallons of rat trap glue on Amazon. Which is also a problem because I'm gonna have to jump in it now. So if you've never heard of this stuff before, basically there's these little traps you can buy at the store that come filled with this super sticky glue. So you can put them out and little bugs or rodents will crawl on it and they'll get stuck, they can't get out, and then you can just throw them away, no more problem. I think I need some of that on this table, I just got bit by something. Anyway, I was just curious to see if, uh, if a person could escape from a human-sized sticky rat trap. So I got this four gallons of glue and we're gonna just pour it all over a piece of plywood and set it up and see if I can escape from it. The first thing we're gonna need to do is heat this up to melt it because as it is right now, it is way too thick to spread on a piece of plywood. So we gotta pop it in the oven. I don't think I left it in the oven long enough because it was still pretty lumpy and pretty difficult to spread. I put it back in there and this time for about four hours instead of the two hours it suggested. It turned out much Ew. better. Do you need tongs or something? Uh, maybe. Oh, Good thing I was wearing gloves. Because I said that stuff is like hot oil. And it it's, uh, feels like hot oil. Whoa, okay, that's so much easier. That's pretty much liquid. Whoa. Yeah, watch your, Woo! watch your toes. All right, let's get the second gallon. Don't spill it this time. Woo! Survived. Oh gosh, almost. The metal bar is very hot. Ah! So my garage is pretty much never gonna be the same anymore. There is sticky stuff on the walls, on the floors, on my oven, on just random stuff everywhere. I don't even know how it got in some of these places. And I guess none of the critters can resist getting caught in it either because I spilled some of the stuff on the floor, as you remember, and now there's a little lizard stuck in it. But don't worry, little guy, we'll get you out with some of this stuff right away. There he goes. Oh. See ya. He's just gonna get stuck again. Look at Primrose. No, <laughs> you can't eat him. We just saved him. Let me just show you how sticky this stuff is. You know, we're just gonna try. Oh no! <sighs> oh. Ooh, okay, that almost fell off. Dude, it's it's pretty sticky. Ew, it sounds so... Ugh. All right, well, I'm gonna wash my hands and then suit up and then let's let's try it out. Ugh. Can you open the door? <laughs> <laughs> probably supposed to take your clothes off underneath this suit, but I think I should probably keep it on in case they need to cut me out. We don't want it to... I'm gonna keep it family friendly. Uh, well, I'm telling you right now, I'm not cutting you out. I'm just gonna leave you to suffer. No! <laughs> I'll bring you dinner out here. <laughs> There's a hurricane coming. How do I look? Lumpy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. No, you you're being a win. You think I'm over exaggerating, but you are totally. This stuff is really sticky. It's really hard to get off. And uh, could you put this olive oil in my hair so I don't get my hair stuck in it? Oh yeah, so by the way, I am going to be speaking at Maker Fair, so if you want to come up to New York on September, what, 25th to see me, go on ahead. And if I'm not there, I'm probably still stuck in this and you should call somebody. Well, you're putting it on your face? Yeah, because what, you know, what if my face gets stuck in it and I can't breathe? Oh my god. No, yeah, you're right, probably too much. All right, so the plan is to do a couple different things. First, I want to try walking across it, and then maybe like crawling across it, and then I'm just going to lay down on it and see if I can get out. I guess first, what do you think? Should I just walk over it? Yeah. See if I can walk across it? This is one small step for backyard scientist. Oh, oh no. God. Uh. Ah. Oh, my. no, no. Okay, okay. <laughs> ah. He is just to go Slowly. You're so going to. All right, I'm gonna try to crawl on it now. Oh my god, I'm like, disappointed you didn't fall. This this isn't this isn't too hard because I can I feel like I have enough strength. 
strength to get out of it. Oh god, just get in there! Okay. Oh, it's like gone through the suit and I can feel it catching my knee hairs. Can you stand back up? Should I try running across it? Yeah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> no! I got two steps in. Oh my god, look at your elbow. Ah! <laughs> I'm a porcupine. Get comfortable. I'm trying, I'm trying to get like my whole legs in it. Yep, I'm stuck. Oh boy. Are you really stuck? Okay, so the key is to just go really slow and steady instead of trying to waste, oh, waste all of your energy. This is actually a lot of work. Oh wow, look at this big old goober on the side of me. That's great. All right. Uh, Get the bicycle. It's going down already. Yeah. Okay. Oh my, I'm like actually nervous for you. You know what if I get my foot stuck to the pedals? Oh, oh, I did it! Oh no. Now that you got a layer of, oh my God, it's shooting rocks up to your sticky back. Ah, I can't get off, my feet are stuck. <laughs> you look like you're going hunting. Like turn around. It's a ghillie suit. Did I just drop a pine cone? <laughs> <laughs> that was easier than I thought it would be. I could just ride across, ride right across like that. You also made a whole layer of rocks. Guys, buy my Backyard Scientist t-shirts, please, so I don't have to do this anymore. Look what I can do. Gross. Anyway, this is, uh, this was a fun video. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, that was even better. All right, well, I'm still stuck in here. And I guess uh, I guess that we tested it, right? Can a human get out of a human-sized sticky mouse trap? And the answer is, yes, you can, and you can't fight it. You just gotta go slowly. You know, you can't, you gotta just peel it off nice and easy, like, and it's pretty easy to get out, actually. The more you fight it, the more it kind of sticks to you and sticks onto itself, and, uh, and uh, yeah, just a fun video to make overall. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and that new microwave video will be out soon. In the meantime, I look forward to seeing a bunch of new sticky glue trap challenges on YouTube, I hope. That would be pretty fun to watch other people do it. Anyways, see you guys next time, bye.